First up today, here's a voicemail that came in from one of our listeners over the weekend. My questions are, do others in the body of Christ really help us grow in our relationship with the Lord? And how can I keep people in general from being a distraction from God? Recently, I realized that I have been making an idol out of my friends who are fellow Christians. This happened when I was spending time with them online and realized that I'd rather be with them than go and spend time with the Lord. After this experience, I have a renewed passion to draw nearer to God and love Him more, but I also feel as if others are a distraction. I enjoy the relationships I have with my brothers and sisters in Christ and want to remain in fellowship with them, but at the same time, I feel as if I should almost be monk-like and only spend my time with God. How do I keep myself from idolizing others, and how do I maintain healthy relationships with them? How can I focus on God first and love Him more? And are others just a waste of time when Jesus is all I need? I'm so divided, and I don't know what to do. Well, well, thank you, Sister, for that question and just for your honesty. And there were several questions there. The very first one was, um, do people actually help us grow in our relationship with the Lord? And I would say that the answer to that is absolutely yes. Um, we are a part of the body of Christ. When we're saved, when we believe in Jesus Christ, he unites us to himself by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, but also to his people to his body, and we're called to grow together as a body, as one church. You see this very clearly in places like Ephesians chapter 4 and 1 Corinthians chapter 12, each of us being a different part of the body. And the body is only healthy as each member comes together and, and contributes those gifts that God has given for the mutual edification of the whole body. Um, and so God intends for each of us to be a part of these kinds of communities. Now, it sounds to me like uh, maybe there's there's um, some confusion here in terms of just the way in which you relate uh, to people in in the church, perhaps, you know, developing an unhealthy codependency where you perhaps expect too much out of the relationship or out of the friendship. Um, and so that I think that's something that you need to be aware of. Um, you know, a lot of times today we'll throw that word idol around. I'm just making an idol out of this or an idol out of that. Um, it's okay to enjoy friendships and, and relationships. And, and if you feel like, man, I, would, I, I really am excited about spending time with these people and I'm not as excited about sitting down by myself and reading my Bible, you know, am I sinning? I, I, I think you have to feel like you're sinning. Um, it naturally, I think, you know, being around people, friends of ours, made in the image of God, encouraging each other to grow in the Lord, I mean, that, those are all really good things. Um, and so you may be, um, you may be, saying, well, this is an idol when it really isn't an idol. But again, this is where you're going to have to exercise wisdom. And if you're finding or seeing that there are unhealthy patterns of relating um, and that you're having a difficult time spending time with friends within the church without without becoming obsessive or something like that, well, that's that's something that um, you need to take a step back and and think about, you know, why it is that you're why it is that you're doing that. And the solution, I would say, is not going and becoming a monk or separating yourself from all people. It's understanding, okay, God has placed these people in my life um, for for our mutual edification. This is, you know, these are good relationships, friendships, um, and we want to grow in the grace and the knowledge of Christ together uh, in a way that's honoring the Lord, not becoming obsessive about the relationship or whatnot. So I, I would say you, there's a balance. It's not, um, you know, an over-dependence upon people, other people within the church, friends per se, and it's also not just running away and and uh, becoming uh, a monk in a monastery or something like that. It's it's learning to have healthy relationships within the body of Christ that are honoring to the Lord. And I think that's something that all of us um, are are growing in. And so have conversations, I would say, with, with these people. Just be honest about about how you're feeling and some of the things that you're struggling with. I think, I think openness is a really good thing. Uh, and then continue to pursue the relationship in a healthy way. And Bill, I don't know if you would, would add anything, you know, your, your perspective as a counselor here and thinking about these sorts of relationships. Would you say anything to our sister? I think you gave some really good advice, and I think the danger is, as you said, codependency. It's like, what are we relying on those people about? Are we relying on them so we feel good about ourselves, so we feel that, you know, we're worthy, uh, that we are, you know, popular, talented, mm -hmm. good-looking? Uh, are we looking to others to kind of prop us up? Then that can be a danger, but I'm, I love what you said. You know, God said so clearly it is not good for man to be alone. And he wasn't just talking about Adam and Eve, about marriage there. He was talking about human relationships, and he's designed us for that. That's how we thrive best, and that's how we grow, as you said. That's 
a big part of the sanctification process, in my opinion. It's the Holy Spirit using others uh, in our lives to have kind of burr off those those rough edges. Absolutely. You know, and, and one of the things we continually reiterate on this broadcast is the importance of Christian community. I think for many believers, they just sort of feel like they can do the Christian life on their own in isolation. I got I got my personal relationship with Jesus in my Bible, but God intends for each of us to be a part of healthy Christian communities where the Word of God is faithfully taught. And so just another opportunity to, to say that um, to our listeners and to encourage them in that.